from the Read to Achieve portfolio entitled Excerpts from the Courage to Soar, Faster, Farther, Higher, From Foot Power to Steam Power. How do you think humans got from place to place a long time ago? Well, at first, they just walked. If they wanted something moved, they could carry it or drag it. So they did not travel very far from home. They also did not try to move many goods. Then early humans began to travel by water. At first, they made a simple raft by tying logs together. We do not know exactly when the first boats were used, but most people believe that humans used water for travel thousands of years ago. A new way to travel came in 3500 BC. This is when we think the wheel was invented. So humans were able to make a cart with two wheels. About the same time, oars and sails were added to boats. Then in 2000 BC, horses were tamed. They could be ridden from place to place and they were also used to do work. Later, horses pulled carts with four wheels. For thousands of years, humans used boats, carts, and animals to go from place to place. And that was all they had. Travel was slow, hard, and dangerous. In the early 1800s, boats began to use steam power. A steam engine turned a big paddle wheel or propeller. These pushed the boat on the water. Now, humans did not have to rely on the wind to sail on the water, nor did they have to use oars. Boats could now be built bigger and they could carry much heavier loads. Then trains, trains with steam engines were invented. Before trains, most cities and towns were built near water. Boats would bring people what they needed, but now cities and towns could be built inland. Trains could carry very heavy loads, so all kinds of goods could be taken to almost any place. By the end of the 19th century, travel was much faster. One train set a speed record of 100 miles per hour which is equivalent to 160 kilometers per hour. The way people and goods were moved had changed forever. By this time, many people had their own cars. So roads had to be paved because cars would often get stuck in the mud. People could go anywhere they wanted to go, and a car was faster and safer. A century of flight from Kitty Hawk to World War I. Then, in 1903, the Wright brothers flew an airplane for the first time. The longest flight that day had an airspeed of 31 miles per hour, which is 50 kilometers per hour. Some birds could fly faster, but this was just the beginning. Two years later, the Wright brothers flew what they called the first practical plane. It could stay in the air for over half an hour. It could turn bank and fly in figure eights. Yet it wasn't until 1909 that the Wright brothers sold the first plane to the U.S. military. For the next few years, pilots entered their planes in races and air meets. They were always improving their planes as they tried to go faster, fly higher, and stay in the air longer.